Okay, so those of you that have seen my other videos, you will know I have got a rack server or a couple of them in the loft which do many things upon running my network and Minecraft server hosting. There's all sorts they do. However, uh, I will tell you more of the, this about the end of the video because a lot of people are not interested, but if you are, it will be at the end. Um, I've had to decommission those servers temporarily, so I am now going to use this one instead. So I have got TrueNAS on this USB stick. I've got four three terabyte drives in the front. Um, and then this is going to run TrueNAS for file server. Then it will also run Proxmox in a VM because TrueNAS has that feature. I'm going to put in this two port gigabit network card into the server as well. Um, and then this will be used for PSSense. So you have your WAN and your LAN. And then these two ports here will be just general internet for the server. So that's something else you got to do. So I will get on with that. Okay, long story short, we've got um, Proxmox running on it now, but you can see here, here is um, TrueNAS, here is PFSense, that's PFSense there, we're all working. Okay, so now I'm going to run these Ethernet ports, and we're also going to put this one downstairs, and then we can set it all up. Okay, we've got our four new cables here. I have pre-measured and pre-cut these so that it's a much simpler process. If 
you want to know what all these cables are that are going down this hole, leave a comment and I will reply to it, hopefully, fingers crossed. Just like that. That's four. Cat six. Into the cupboard. Okay, so I've got all the cables coming in from the bottom and they're coming into the server cabinet, they're coming up here. So I have to uh, wire them all into the patch panel up there now. It was a royal pain in the ass that we got there. All of them are in, so now I just need to go downstairs and wire in um, the ports. Okay, that's all those plugs in, so I just need to clear this space, then the server's going to go in there, and the cables will just run behind the back of the cupboard and come through and plug in. And then that Wi-Fi access point that's up there at the moment is also going to plug into them, and that'll just be sat down there. Okay, so here it is in its uh, final resting place for the meantime. So it's all going. Only just turned it on, so I just need to check that I can access it. But here we go. Okay, got this roller cable. We're in the loft. We're just pulling it down outside so that we can go into the dining room downstairs. Okay, it's all in. It's working really, really well. Um, I've got the printer going, excuse the noise of that. Um, our next job, this will be a different video. Wi-Fi. These things are horrible. And that is the next video, hopefully, maybe. Server works well. It's been installed for a couple of days now. Everything's fine. Um, I did tell you why we're installing it. Basically, the electricity is too expensive to run the other ones all the time. So since this one uses a lot less power, this runs the critical functions. Then when I want to use other things, I turn the other one on with the iDRAC remotely. And then um, it is used that way. So in this cupboard here, I've got all the uh, network ports up there. As you, hey. All the network ports are there. They all plug into the back of this server. And you've got this Wi-Fi access point down there. That's not connected. We're using this one at the moment. That's a whole other story. Um, it's all going fine. It's not doing a huge amount, but it's doing fine. Uh, it's not too noisy. It's working well. It's been reliable. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you've made it this far, please subscribe. I do all sorts of weird things with technology and making things. So, yeah. Uh, I will see you in another video.